So we identified these cells using models. They enable us to, uh, to determine that they respond to different messengers that are released when you get an allergen in, into your system. Those messengers turn them on and make them make new regulators, new messengers that are sent out, and they cause the cells in your airways to start contracting and also start producing mucus. And that mucus starts to, and the contraction starts to narrow the airways, meaning that you then are short of breath, and that's the wheeze that you see in asthmatic patients. We believe that these now, these cells offer a new potential therapeutic target. Previously, we didn't know they existed. Now that they're there, we can start to target the messages that are sent to them and also the messages that they produce themselves. So we can target those potentially with antibodies to block those messages and therefore hopefully stop the mucus and stop the contraction. The immune system has been studied for m m hundreds of years and in the last 50 uh, a huge amount of work has gone on. What was fascinating is that these cells have essentially been ignored, they were thrown away. We made new uh, reagents to, uh, enabling us to study them and identify them and now uh, it's uh, resulting in an explosion of interest in, in these types of cells.